of a truck to their fleet. In a Facebook post, Kaplan police say this addition will greatly enhance the department's ability to serve the citizens of Kaplan more efficiently and effectively, as both agencies continue to work toward keeping Kaplan safe. The Lafayette Animal Shelter and Care Center, in partnership with Spay Nation, is hosting the 15th annual drive through vaccination clinic for dogs. This free event will be held Sunday, November 3rd from 8 a.m. to noon at the Cajun Dome. This year's clinic offers free rabies vaccinations. In addition, a limited number of $20 spay neuter vouchers will be available and microchipping services will be offered for $20 cash only. The Acadiana Eats Festival is taking place this Saturday at West Village in Scott. Dozens of locally owned restaurants will be on hand to serve you some of their signature food that you've seen right here on Acadiana Eats. You can also enjoy live music from the likes of DJ RV, Mass Donkey, Buckwheat Zydeco Jr., and our own Gerald Grunig and his band, Gentilly Zydeco. Mr. Craig Stansbury joining us now with Lafayette Parish Communication District talking about Smart 911, a brand new app here to the Lafayette community. Mr. Craig, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. Smart 911, tell us about the app and how we might use this one day in, the ca in case of an emergency. Sure. Um, when someone calls 911, uh, our call takers ask them information to try to determine, you know, number one, where's their location and what type of emergency response, you know, they may need. Uh, a lot of times when people call, uh, you know, they're in a very stressful situation. They could be frantic. We could have a child called. So us getting this information and getting it to the first responders is extremely important. And we kind of say, you know, every second counts. Mm -hmm. But now with Smart 911, it's an app that you can actually download and you can put in pertinent information about you or your family um, that as soon as you call 911, that information will be displayed uh, to be passed along to the first responders uh, to be able to uh, best respond to your call for help. And how exactly does it work with the responders? Is this information immediately going to pop up for them whenever somebody has this app? Uh, just about. Uh, what happens is we have a uh, automated dispatch system, and as soon as you call 911 from the number that you put in the app, mm -hmm. okay, the information that you decide to put in. Now, now some people say, you know, what type of information uh, should they put in or they might put in. Um, you can customize it to whatever you want. People put in medications they might be taking, uh, medications that they're allergic to. Uh, some people have family members that may be autistic. Uh, yeah, they may have some uh, mobility issues, but any information that you feel is pertinent to you or your family that first responders may need to know uh, if you call for help. That information is immediately relayed to the 911 call takers and they will send that information electronically to the first responders uh, responding to you, whether it be um, an ambulance, fire, or police. And is this app available for us to get currently? It's already up and running for us? The app is currently up and running at uh, Apple, Android. Uh, you can just go on there, uh, search it. Uh, so for Smart 911, you can download the app. It's very easy uh, to follow. If you would have any um, issues with it or want some help uh, download it, you can always call Lafayette Parish Communication District at 337-291-5060. We'd gladly help you walk through it. Uh, the app is free. It's secure. You create your own safety user profile, and you put whatever information you want in there uh, that you feel is needed for you or your family. You're the only one that can edit it uh, or go into it, and it's only displayed when you call 911. Mm -hmm. And just to further stress the importance of using this app, because it sounds like it could be very beneficial for those um, in case of an emergency, but have you guys frequently run into um, you know, situations where you're not able to get the information that you need? Quite often. And what happens, obviously, when somebody's calling 911, they're usually in a very stressful mm -hmm. situation. Um, uh, like I said, the person can be frantic. Mm -hmm. The person may be a child. We could have um, a parent that, uh, has been unconscious mm -hmm. and uh, children have been taught how to use 911. They'll pick up the phone, they might dial 911 from that phone. Well, immediately, all the information about if uh, the parent put in medication for themselves, maybe something they're allergic to, uh, is displayed to those first responders. So you have a paramedic that comes in and maybe the patient themselves cannot tell them 
I'm allergic to this type of medication. You know, you can't give that to me. Well, the first responders are already going to know that. Yeah. Um, there could be a, a child that uh, has autism, or we've had family members that maybe are older and have Alzheimer's and have wandered away from a house. People have put their information in there. You can also put a picture. And as the first responders are coming to your location, they're already searching for that person because they have a picture of him and a description of who that might be. So uh, things like that really make a big difference uh, in, the, in these situations. Smart 911, get that app today in the Apple App Store and start your profile or the Google Play Store as well. Coming up, Karen Purcell brings us more epic discounts from Best Reviews, and we are bringing you another ULL Professor Spotlight, this time meeting architecture professor Jeff Jurston. Plus, it is Medicare Monday with Brad Thibodeau and the Thibodeau Family Agency giving you tips to consider during Medicare's open enrollment period. Now let's check in with Dr. Jones to see what's coming up on live from Studio 10 today at 4.30. Hey, Lydia, coming up today on Live from Studio 10, one person is dead, another critically injured in a weekend shooting in Appaloosa. One resident tells us what he witnessed. Plus, controversy over who should foot the bill to house St. Landry Parish inmates and early voting resumes this week. Live from Studio 10 starts at 4.30. Hi, I'm Ken with LUS, and here are some holiday decorating safety tips. Inspect and replace any damaged lights with LED lights. Use only UL listed lights. Put your lights on a timer. For more tips, go to LUS.org slash holiday tips. News Nation of Thursday. Jamie Vance, Chris Crow. One on one in the final days of this election day of year. Watch the special News Nation Town Hall. Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Only on News Nation and streaming on X. I was in a bad car wreck in Grove Bridge. I was in a bad wreck with a big red in New Iberia. I was injured on the job in Lafayette. I'm attorney Gordon McCartan. No matter where or how you're injured here in Acadiana, your local hometown attorneys are ready to fight for you. I got My local hometown attorneys got me $2 million. $390,000. $500,000. In court. Get it done. Just call us. Get it done. Call 999-9999. Here are the top five reasons we think you're going to love homes to go about losses. We have a huge inventory of homes in stock. From cozy manufactured homes to sweet modern modular homes, we have the options that you are looking for. We carry Sunshine, one of the most sought after brands in America. Our team has over 30 years of finance experience. We can help you find land for your new home. Okay, one more. When you buy from Homes to Go, you are investing in the Acadiana community. So what are you waiting for? Visit Homes to Go Vopalooses today. You're injured at work, and now you're being told the insurance company has a plan for your workers' compensation benefits. They say they'll be good doctors. They say they'll have enough to get by on while you can't work. They say your job will be waiting for you when you finally are able to come back. You could take their word for it, but isn't it worth one phone call to demand that your rights be protected? Heard on the job? Demand the Call Deadly Devotion. Sometimes the easiest way to change your home is to change your furniture, which is why we partnered with Rooms to Go on our Drew and Jonathan Furniture Collection. So whether this is your first time decorating a space or you've made a career out of it, you can feel confident knowing that we've got your back. With styles you'll love today and for years to come, and quality construction that will stand the test of time. So while we can't renovate for everyone, we can give you the tools you need to fall in love with your space all over again. It's the Drew and Jonathan Collection for Rooms to Go. Caleb Wise, Social Entertainment, and Tony Saturies present the Acadiana Heat Festival back for its third year. Save the date because we're going to spice things up at West Village and Scott on October 26th. The Acadiana Heat Festival showcasing food from all over Acadiana. Hi, I'm Heidi with LUS. The Share the Light program supports families who need help keeping their lights on. Please consider donating when you pay your LUS bill online or in person. For more information about the program, go to LUS.org slash share the light. Welcome back to Acadiana Live. Here is a quick look at events from our community calendar happening this week at 5.30 this afternoon. Head down to the basement to enjoy board games while also making new friends. You can even bring your own games to play if you'd like. This free event is taking place at the Lafayette Public Library and is for ages 14 and up. Get ready to get fit with a cardio dance class happening tomorrow at Moncas Park. This free cardio class led by Susie Q featuring an engaging cardio dance fitness class to keep 
your heart healthy, your feet moving, and your mind stress-free. And on Wednesday, you are invited to a bewitching spooky glow and flow yoga session at Muckus Park. Flow through poses in the enchanting evening atmosphere, blending fitness with the festive fun. No registration is required. And don't miss this spine-tingling evening of yoga under the Halloween moon, complete with a chance to strike your best spooky pose. You can find more information and events in the Acadiana Live section on our website, kalefly.com. From the falling leaves to the crisp, fresh air, nothing says fall like football. Karen Purcell and Jacob Palmer are standing by with the best products for your next tailgate at the best prices and this week's epic discounts from Consumer Resource BestReviews.com. Hi, I'm Karen Purcell. This is Jacob Palmer. We're back from bestreviews.com. We are talking about outdoor products today. It's fall, and I think we're, more people are outside sort of grilling and being outside on the sidelines for their kids' sports. So let's talk about it. The first thing is by Wooden House. These are really beautiful spatulas and serving pieces. You said it, and one thing that I think everybody overlooks is the serveware. And these are awesome because, number one, they look great. They work great, and also, you know, you can use them in so many different areas. So when you can save big, like you can right now on these, you might as well stock them. Absolutely, they're so beautiful enough so you can keep them on the counter too. The next item we have are rechargeable hand warmers. I am a hockey mom. I am always freezing, so these are near and dear to my heart. Tell me a little bit about them. So these are great. They come from Okupa, and what we love about them is number one, they're not wasteful like a lot of hand warmers are. You hate to throw something out every time you have to use it. The last thing you want are cold hands. This will help you solve that problem Absolutely. with the quickness. And the battery life is really nice on those, so you know that it'll last you the full game. We both love to grill, and Meat Claws is another product that I looked at and I was like, what is this? Tell me about it. These will help you bring that dish all the way home, and it's so fast for that final step to just be able to pull the meat apart, and then it's perfectly pulled apart. You're not dealing with those chunks. So for somebody like me who loves cooking their meats, loves to have, you know, bring kind of the showstopper to the potluck or to the tailgate, this is going to help you deliver that every That's single it. time. That's it, for sure. And this looks like an incredible grill brush that looks very different from the others. Yeah, absolutely. And I've been grilling long enough that I feel like I've been on a quest to find the perfect grill brush. The material on it is so so solid and again we absolutely love it because it just gets the job done and it feels like my search is over when I got one of these in my hand. 